How's it going everybody? So as you can see, um, I got a replacement for my tablet today. So this is uh, um, a brand spanking new one. Haven't even opened it up. Basically just took it out of the box. Um, haven't unwrapped it. You can see the keyboard here as well. It's all still wrapped up. Basically just want to see if uh, it's got the exact same problems that the other one had. I can see here from the latch that the latching mechanism is actually good and proper on this one. So they replaced that quite well. Let's see if uh, if this one has the same problems that the other one had. Okay, so let's just uh, peel some layers here. Um, I really am impressed with this sort of tablet. I mean, I'm really looking forward to getting some good use out of it. But uh, it's just a bit disappointing that I have to go through all this with Dell. Beauty. Okay, so uh, let's turn it on. Nice buzz, Dell. Yeah. Nice 2 amp charger, so this comes in handy. I should charge this tablet quite quickly. So it, it will go through its initial first stages of setup, which I'll hopefully just breeze through. I do like uh, the long USB cable that it comes with though as well. Nice little mechanism here for clamping it all together and uh, keeping it nice and neat. Nice rubber feel. I do like the cable, especially the fact that it's so long. I can have my uh, power board down next to my bed and this will reach up all the way to the middle of the bed and uh, I can have the tablet charging while I'm watching in bed and such. And it's the perfect length pretty much, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so everything should be fine. Let's just, oh, we can change all this later on. Okay, so we seem to be having a touchscreen issue from the go without it even being powered on. Okay, finally worked there. Okay, accept. Okay, uh, I won't show you guys this one. <coughs> Okay, so the touchscreen does seem to be working pretty well so far. Um, yeah. Yep, even just changing that. Next, yep, okay. So, uh, it seems to be good. Let's just... Um, okay, so that's interesting. When it's down, I wonder if it's some sort of tilt. Um, okay, seems that when it's down next on the flat, it's not too. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's just do express. We can change everything later on. Okay, finish. Oops. Let's do. Okay. Finish. Hmm. Choose a different username. Okay. Hmm, okay, so. Oh, you little. So that's interesting, seems to have a bit of an issue when it's lying down on a touch screen, but uh, works when you tilt it up. So let's give it a restart. Let's start unpacking the uh, keyboard while we do that. I just like ripping things, so yeah. Again, just really disappointed there's no battery in this. 
I mean, the weight of it just feels like it should have something there, but... Oh well. Still quite a nice feature and not a lot of uh, products actually come with the keyboard. So it's nice that straight out of the box you have a keyboard and you have your tablet. Um, usually it's like a hundred bucks or so extra for the keyboard for most um, tablets, most manufacturers. Dell seems to have thought about, you know what, let's just give people with this new 10 inch, they've made the 11 and the 8. This new 10 inch, let's, let's give them a keyboard as well. Okay. We do have responses. Okay. Hmm. It's exactly the same one as before. Maybe you can make out the, uh, the ports a bit better in this light here. Um, yeah, I do like the layout. And. I'm pretty old-fashioned, so when it comes to square objects, I really do like them. And this has a very nice, just... It, it does have the rounded edges, but it's very squarish, so it does appeal to my tastes. Um, Samsung, I know it likes to have its flow and uh, its curviness, same with Apple. But uh, I do find that uh, this is quite nice. So there we go. Okay, so that's working. Let's plug it in and see if it's got the same problem out of the box. Plug it into the right port. Ah, the LED is working this time. So I think originally I got a faulty unit. A completely faulty unit. There was something wrong with it completely. Not just uh, the pin, but the, the unit itself. Oh, no. So the LED does work. But uh, the issue with the screen not working while it's plugged in seems to be a, uh, an out-of-the-box issue. So if you get this, don't worry. Just do what I did. Connect it to the internet. Um, use the, your um, keyboard that comes with it and, uh, and connect it to the internet. Yeah, there we go. And it will just go through a whole bunch of updates, and once it updates, it, it usually fixes that problem pretty, pretty quickly. So, disappointing though, but oh well. Hopefully we'll get some good use out of it now. Um, anything else, I might uh, use it for a couple of weeks, and then do a proper review of what I actually think of it. Um, I am going to be using this for my business, so um, I want to see if this can actually keep up and do the things that I want to do. I'm not only going to be using it for emailing and uh, and social media and things like that, but I'm actually going to be running some uh, intensive programs on this, like Corel Draw and uh, graphics design uh, software. Nothing like Adobe because that probably will be too intensive for this, but uh, hopefully Corel will will work on this quite well. So I'll review that and uh, let you guys know. Okay, thanks for watching.